for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to our video tutorials on creating and working with table-based layouts instead of Dreamweaver CS5. In the last video, we saw a little bit about padding and spacing and how they affect tables. And in this video, I want to talk about the difference between merging and splitting cells and nesting tables within tables. Now, oftentimes what people will do is they will start to lay out a page and then what they will do is uh, uh, begin to put content into it. And I've started to create a table here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And let's say the layout that I want to create is going to have a banner area. And I want to be able to put some uh, text over to the left hand side and then put the logo for my company over to the right hand side of that banner area. So there's going to be two cells there. And then in the body area, I'm going to go ahead and want um, three different columns. One for a left hand navigation, one central area that's large um, to hold the content, and then sort of an area over to the right that will sort of be a right hand sidebar. And then I'm going to want a footer down at the bottom that's going to have just one cell inside of it. So essentially I need two cells up top, three cells in the middle, and two cells in the bottom. Now to do that you could go to insert table and begin by typing three rows and choosing the number of columns that you want. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and do one. I'm going to go ahead and make this 800 pixels. And I'm going to say that the cell padding here is 20. So now I've got my basic layout here, my basic table. And I said I wanted two areas in the header area one to hold the name of the company and the other area to hold the logo. So what I can do is I can come here to table and I can select split cell. And I can choose rows here. I'm going to split this into two columns though. So this cell is going to be split into two columns. I'll click OK and you'll see that split it down the middle. So I can go ahead and type a company name here. And then I can come over here and go ahead and type logo. And you're going to see how that sort of jumped over there for me. That may not be what I want. I hope it jumped right back. So that's, a, that's another problem that you're going to experience working with table-based layouts when you're splitting and merging cells. Now, the central area, I said I wanted a left-hand navigation, a central content area, and then a right-hand bar over here to put things like side notes or comments or call-outs. So I'm going to go ahead and split this cell into three columns, a left, a middle, and a right. When I do that, you're going to see I get a left-hand column. I also get a middle column here, and then I get a right-hand column. Well, I want my left-hand column to be thinner and narrower along with my right-hand column. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag this on over there. So far, so good. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag this one over this way. You're going to see it also drag that there. It actually linked the two up. And that's going to be a problem for me because I can't move this cell independently of this cell without actually going into the code and changing that. So that's going to be really inconvenient. And then I said I wanted two areas down here in my footer. So I could come here, table, split cell. And watch what happens if I split it into two columns. I click OK, you'll see it jumps over there. And if I want to drag this over in the middle so I have a left and a right, you'll see again it's dragging this area here. So that's a very long way of explaining to you never split and merge layout tables inside of Dreamweaver. And if you have a page that you're working on that's already been laid out that way, um, you're probably going to save most uh, of your time just by deleting the table and recreating it. And you can recreate the table just simply by nesting tables inside of tables and you'll see how we do that in another video. 
So re remember, for right now, avoid splitting and merging cells. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.